hi hi I'm still me Sloan um so yeah I realized oops I realized that um since I already touched one taboo topic why not go ahead and pee on another one earlier today I went to do groceries because I figured you know I like cooking dinner and um, I didn't have all the ingredients for this new recipe I wanted to try out so I had to go down to the supermarket and find some stuff and while I was in the produce aisle there was a guy there and he said something to me in Spanish and I didn't catch it so I asked him what was that and he said it in English talking about how uh, what a world we live in or something like that because this lady by the door was arguing with the guy at the store about not wearing a mask. She didn't want to put hers on and he was giving her some shit about it. Whatever. Um, I wasn't paying her any mind, but the guy and I started talking about how, about how, okay, well, COVID shut down the world and everything, and but that's not really the big thing. COVID just kind of gave us all a moment to pause and look much more closely at all the things that are wrong with us. Wonderful, right? See, in the 1970s, 1980s, party politics was the thing that wasn't blatantly discussed in the news, but it was leaned towards. Always was. Every network had an agenda, and every network's agenda was aligned with whichever rich fucker owned the network. Get a real bike. Sorry, Tourette's. Um, where was I? Ah, yes. Now, all of a sudden, when a network shows that they have a leaning towards one side or the other, the other side calls it fake news. But now, they're not just leaning. They're just, like, all the way. They're pole vaulting to their sides. They're, like, way on the other ends because they don't want to meet in the middle anymore at all. Which, I mean, the middle line is fine. I, I feel that there are certain times where you should lean a little right, or uh, should lean a little left, should lean a little right. Um, I, t I take a lot of these quizzes. And, uh, sorry, pajamas. Um, I take a lot of these quizzes, and I took a political quiz, and it told me uh, that I, well, one said that I was a Whig, W-H-I-G, I believe it is, or two Gs which is a very conservative, uh, a very conservative party that, uh, kind of went away when the, uh, Republican Party was, uh, beginning. More conservative than Republicans, believe it or not. Um, but that's because a lot of my beliefs are structured around certain things in a very, very rigid kind of way. Um... And the other uh, quiz that I took told me I'm a fusionist, which means that I'm somewhere in between Republican and Democrat, which I can see. Uh, I tend to try to make sense in the common sense kind of way. And uh, the only way to rule a country that is as polarized as this country is to find a common ground in the middle. And that's not because I feel that everything in the middle is wonderful and great and communism is a thing, I feel that by walking that middle line in our governance, we don't ostracize all of our constituents. That makes sense. Um, that being said, there's a lot of shit that's going on in the government right now that's just really, really stupid. And, and in order to explain this, I kind of have to bring it back some. Okay, so let's go. Uh, okay, there are countries that have monarchies. And each of those countries have a modicum of decency. And there is just like they hold a level of respect for themselves, which we don't see here in, in the U.S. We don't see that here at all. We see it a little bit in Canada with Justin Trudeau. He's a great, great guy. 
Macron in France, also another one, they hold themselves to a higher regard because they know that they are supposed to be setting the example. The last time I saw that in this country, it was JFK. And not, I'm not knocking any of the, the guys that came after him. They all did decent jobs, but they are not, they didn't present themselves within the regal manner as Jackie did or as John did. But I do want to say that Jackie was the reason I think that the whole Camelot thing was good. Because John was a philandering piece of shit. But in public, he kept himself, he held himself with, with some restraint. And he did make a lot of moves towards civil rights that I, I, honestly, had I lived in that time, I would not have believed he would have done or would have been able to get away with doing. And he did. And so he made a lot of positive change for this country. And it's a wonderful thing. That being said, there have been very few uh, presidents since that have made so many positive advances for the American people. Um, but that being said, the president is normally just a puppet. The president kind of sits in front while Congress and, and the Senate make a lot of the decisions and they sit it at his desk and he gets to make decisions based on who he can piss off less. Because again, those with the big pockets pull the strings of those in the, in the Congress and the Senate, normally, and uh, they kind of pull the strings of the president because they have his ear. Now, let's step back by a president. And I know you think, I, you think that you know what I'm going to say, but you don't. Um, while Trump has a lot of issues, and we'll step into some of those, um, he did do some good for this country. Aside from the polarizing the country completely, he um, he did some good things for us when it came to the whole COVID situation. He was kind of, once he realized it was a situation, he did he tried to keep on top of it, and it was a good thing. He tried to make certain positive changes, but that's like putting Archie Bunker in the presidential office and asking him to write legislation for civil rights. You've got the wrong person, guys. But that's a problem with the American system, the two-party system. Those two main parties seem to find the bottom of the barrel every year and put them up for election. Now, if you're picking the shittiest of the shittiest of the shittiest of the shittiest, and you come out with a shitty candidate and you have a shitty president, well, you can't really blame, you know, the president, or they were a shitty candidate to begin with. Get someone worthy to run. I'm sorry. The uh, cheeto-looking, tamper-tantrum-throwing president that we had before this, he polarized this country by turning it around and, and, and doing the finger pointing and the the blame game and the you know the, the the attention shifting game you know oh yeah I've done illegal things but look at that one they did the same illegal thing why aren't you on them oh they did worse than I did because they did such and such or but it's all this smoke and mirrors so that he wouldn't get in trouble bullshit instead of just him getting in trouble how's about all of them get in trouble How's about we actually drain the swamp, as he said he was going to do, which he didn't do, by the way, but let's start actually putting people in office who know what the fuck they're doing. How's about we start electing officials who actually care about their constituents and not want the money that the U.S. government gives them? How's about we actually put people who are responsible and forward-thinking? into these offices so that that way we can get our country moving forward. There is a bill that has been tossed around between the Congress and the Senate for a while now, months, and it's called the Build Back Better Plan. 
Now, I am an outlaw, I am an independent, and I ride all over this country. And I've done so very often for the last 30 some odd years. That being said, I have seen almost every roadway there is. Back roads, the whole nine yards, as many... I love traveling across this fucking country. But in doing so, I also get to see a lot of the roads that are in disrepair. I see a lot of highways that are in disrepair. I see a lot of bridges that could use work. This country is falling apart. And it's been a long time since we turned around and said, okay, we need to fix this shit. And leaving it up to, state and to, to the state or the city to do it for themselves, if the country isn't giving the state the money to do so, where exactly are they pulling these funds from? Whose ass are they pulling it from? What I would suggest is we do tax the rich. And I'm not talking about those with a couple hundred thousand dollars in their fucking bank account, all right? I'm talking about the actual billionaires and trillionaires. Those people who are not paying taxes right now because they found a way to cheat the system. I'm not saying kudos to them. Fuck that. Let me tell you something. These people have been cheating the system and cheating the system over and over again. Cheeto said so while he was in, in office. I bet you anything. He has offshore accounts that can't be touched or traced by the IRS, right? That's where he's hiding all the money he keeps saying that he loses every year. I digress. I'm playing his game now. Finger pointing, the bitching, the moaning, the shifting of... And I apologize. See, this is what he has done to this country. And it is not okay. What we should be doing is acknowledging that this is wrong. From anyone. Everyone that is happening, anyone that is doing it. It's wrong. It's wrong. What we should be doing is taking an account, the IRS should take an account of all of those whose bank accounts reflect more than a billion dollars. All right? From that upwards, levy a tax, a rather large tax, let's say a nice 20% tax on them, right? Of their entire income. I'm not talking about their income this year. I'm talking about their entire income, the entire bank account, everything that they've got, let's take 20% just this year. Next year, let's say we only take 6 or 7%. But not from their entire account, just from their income for that year. Because that money will help build this entire fucking country back and bring people out of poverty. This will help the Vietnam veterans who are sleeping under fucking bridges get their own apartment, get themselves set up again with life. Maybe they can get up and get a job. Maybe they can get the psychiatric help that they want, that they cannot get. I'm not talking about communism here, people. I'm talking about getting a hand up from the people who have the most and they can give, but choose not to. I am not saying communism works. I fucking hate the idea of it. I really do. But I do believe that healthcare should be available to all and free schooling should be and it should happen, okay? I feel, however, <clears throat> that we have been looking at all of these things all wrong. And that every time someone brings up a point, any point, doesn't matter what, everyone else in the room gets their panties in a bunch. We're adults here. Let's start behaving like adults. Let's start treating our fellow man like we are on the same page. Like we are all adults. So we can sit down at this table and have an adult conversation without the finger pointing and the blame game and the shifting. Let's just stop. And let's start becoming the country that we keep saying that we are. Behave like adults and start taking back our dignity on that global stage on which we have lost everyone's fucking respect. Let's do that. Because it's not just now. This is about forever. This is about us. As a nation. We're fucked, dude. All of us. We're fucked. Because we're sitting here while our politicians are playing sandbox games and being fucking toddlers about shit 
and we look like we're toddlers. I want to walk into Congress one day and just shake everybody and tell them, you are grounded. You are no longer allowed to work. Go home. But then I would have to rule the world. Actually, that wouldn't be so bad. Next presidential election. Vote for me. That's it. Yep. Vote for me. But not for president. I don't want to be president. Mm -mm. I want to be queen of the world. That's what you should do. Write in ballots from all over the world. I want to see UK votes coming in. And I want to see queen of the world, Nicola Sloan Prosper. Yep. That'll be me. I'll wait. It's okay. I have all the time in the world. And if it's not going to happen this next election, we can wait until the next one. I'll be waiting. You guys know that I would do a much better job.